Hi, I'm Sarah with Azubu, reporting with Azubu Blaze, and I'm here with Simon Yoon, who's going to be doing the translating for this interview. And we are actually in the Azubu Blaze team house. We're going to be conducting an interview which was requested to us by Mobile Fire. Um, first, let's get started introducing all the members. This is Helios, and he plays the jungle role. This is Reaper, who is the top position, formerly known as Fantasy Star. Over there is Ambition and he plays the mid position. Lust Boy, who is support, and Captain Jack, AD Carry. Okay, so let's get started with the first question. When did you find out about participating in the MLG arena, and how did you feel when you heard the news? The reaper from Azubu uh, Blaze said, uh, I am very glad that, I was, uh, that I, we were invited to international um, competition as uh, MLG Arena, and we would like to be out there showing fans that what we could do and what, uh, how well we could do. And so far, if it goes well, then we would like to continue and go to the MLG Championship and show the world that Azubu Blaze are good and nice team, so it would be great to participate in uh, MLG Arena. What are your thoughts about competing against powerhouse Western teams like Team Curse, Team Solomid, and European Team Black? How confident do you guys feel? Against all the foreign teams, uh, we would like to, we're going to try our best. And also, uh, we would like to show them that Korean teams can compete with the foreign teams as well. And at the end, we will probably win most of the games. 열심히 연습 연습하고 있고요. 지금 어 이기리라 생각하고 있습니다. Well, how are you preparing for MLG Arena? Preparing for MLG Arena. Um, they're practicing with uh, Azubu Frost, and also they're trying to like, connect with uh, um, some of the unknown like, Asian uh, LL teams and practice for uh, preparing for the MLG Arena. What's day-to-day -day training like for you guys, and how do you typically practice? We're practicing in a schedule. We have all this schedule planned out. And outside of a schedule, individually, we're also practicing for the uh, MHR right now. How about days when you're not training? What do you usually do? On the weekends, on the weekdays, they usually practice all the time. On the weekends, they are free from the gaming. So they either go home, meet the families, or they don't play at all. They just only hang out, maybe friends and um, relatives. How do you view Western training in comparison to Korean training? For like foreign teams, they have a uh, free time. Like they are freely training themselves. They have a uh, they don't have any fixed time to uh, practice, but most of the Korean professional teams, they have a fixed time, they have a team practice and an individual practice, so it's different, but we're trying our best to practice uh, most of the time to win against different teams. Do you feel Western teams play the meta game all the same, or does it differ from Korea? For, most of the foreign teams are more concentrated on uh, lane, pushing the lanes, and also their they respect the individual opinion when they're playing game. So they have their own decisions, but they also follow the leader. But Korean teams are mainly there's a one person who is an absolute power, so he gives all the orders, and also he thinks that when five uh, champions are together, he's always thinking about what they could do together. So, like some of the foreign teams do have what the Koreans are doing, but like those two things are main difference.
So how do you think the Korean metagame can compare with the Western metagame? Uh, Azubu Blaze uses a different meta uh, compared to other Korean teams. But when they go up against uh, foreign teams, they could probably make it happen. So it will be okay. They could probably compete with them without a problem. What are the top three bands for the Korean meta team, specifically your team, and why? Uh, Azubu Blaze usually bans, or they would like to ban Malphite and Alistar and Rise because uh, Ambition doesn't like Rise. And Captain Zack doesn't like uh, Malphite because he just doesn't like it. And then Alistar, um, uh, they don't like to use, and also they don't like other team to use, so they just ban all those three champions. Going back to the MLG arena, which teams are you most looking forward to facing, and what do you think is going to be your greatest challenge? Uh, MLG arena, there are four teams, basically. Uh, team Solomit, and Team Salmit, Curse, Black, and Azubu uh, Blaze. So Black, Black, um, they don't know any. Uh, Blaze no, doesn't does know anything about it, so we can't really prepare anything. Um, basically, when we get there, we'll find out when we play them. Team Solomit is a very famous team, and they're a very well-known team. And we would like to win against uh, Team Solomit because if we win the you know, famous team, our name brand will be higher and uh, the sponsor, Azubu, will be um, well known among other game players and people who are watching. And also, um, Curse, they're really strong on uh, every lane, so we're trying to watch out for the lane so we could kind of compete in the game. Have you been following the Western teams closely since you're going into the arena? And then if you have been following them closely, is there anything that surprised you about their strategies or their style of playing? Uh, Azubu Blaze uh, watches all the foreign games. And out of all those foreign games, if they think this might be a very effective in uh, Blaze, they change it to Blaze style and then make it very useful, like um, like Shivana from M5, or how they get the fast dragon, or like, you know, destroying towers. I mean, whenever they see in a foreign game place, if they find it very useful, they adopt it and then make change it into play style and make it very efficient. And what are your thoughts on Western events like IPL and MLG? How do you think that they compare to Korean events? Azubu Blaze, uh, this is the first time to go to uh, like competition in a foreign country. So basically, they never experienced before. So next time when we have another interview like this, then they could tell, uh, we could tell you guys how I feel about it. Oh, well, is MLG the start of you guys participating in more Western events? Or can we expect that you guys will be entering into or invited to more international events in the future? For Blaze, um, this is actually the first time going outside of Korea, competing in a foreign country. Uh, we would like to participate in any events if you guys invite us. Uh, we would like to see different team members in different countries. We would like to meet new fans outside of Korea. We would also like to meet uh, new, make new friends so we could practice some more with the different styles, with different teams. And for the upcoming events, 
right now we're gonna participate in an energy arena. Um, next one, probably like a uh, competition in Taiwan and another competition in LA. So just invite us, we would like to participate and we would like to have fun in your invitational or any competition that you will us to be there. Well, going into this season's The Champions, which you're also competing in, do you feel the competition is stiffer this year as compared with um, last season? Yeah, he lists from uh, Blaze that this season is a lot tougher than uh, last season because compared to last season, there are a lot of foreign teams here, uh, especially CLZ EU. And last season, CLZ NA um, didn't go up far, so they're basically uh, ready to happen. They were aiming for it, so they probably have some other hidden strategy. So a little bit afraid, but uh, we're practicing a lot. Um, we're going to be okay. We probably won't have many wins as the last time, but we'll try our best, and we'll probably win. Well, how about the Southeast Asian um, teams? How do you feel about them, such as Taipei Assassins and Singapore Sentinels? How do you feel about those teams? Like TPA or other South um, Asian teams, um, they're not well known, and also they had different practice matches, and they didn't have uh, any problem. So they're not really a big threat to us. So it's not going to be any problem. Well, this question is for you, Captain Jack. If Graves is banned against you, do you still feel like you can carry the team with other champions? Or, um, it's not like I could only play with uh, Graves. I have other champions I could use. But when it's open, it's available, I'll take it because I have a, you know, I set it up for like best uh, options. So I could play well, but I could also play with other champions as well. So well, if you want to ban Graves, go ahead. But I mean, it's going to be OK. I could play with others, so don't worry. Well, this season two world championships is coming up. Do you feel that a Korean team could walk away with the victory? Um, from the, all the videos, gameplays that they seen, as we play seen, um, compared to them and all the other Korean teams, well, not much of a difference. So if you practice hard, and for Azubu Blaze-wise, I think we could probably win. So people who are watching, I mean, if you're watching, just practice a lot, and we'll see you at L.A. Okay, well, going back to the MLG Arena, it takes place in New York City. So have any of you been to New York City before, or is there anything that you're looking forward to experiencing in New York City or anything that you want to do in New York City? Well, except for Captain Jack, none of them went, have been to New York. But for Captain Jack, he went there when he was in sixth grade in elementary school, so he doesn't really remember it much. Um, when he goes back again, he would like to walk around in New York City with a coffee in his hand, relax. Um, Ripper said um, he would like to get a seat in uh, through the MLG arena. They would like to have a seat in a competition in LA. Okay, well, can you go through the teams competing in the MLG arena and say, um, what do you think about them? What do you think about their game style? Curse, Team Solomid, and Black? Uh, Blaze thinks that all those three teams are very strong, so it's going to be hard for us to um, Blaze to compete against him. But we, Blaze, Blaze have been practice, practicing a lot, and for Team Solomid, they have, they have a very strong lanes. You know, they have a bottom and they have all these strong lanes. So and they are very aggressive, so they're trying to play with other aggressive teams so they could prepare. And for Curse, they're very fun, loving game players. So they have a 
unique game styles and they're trying to have fun. So they're just Blaze is like trying to have fun as well. For Black, Blaze doesn't have any information. So basically, when, we, when the Blaze get there, they'll find out. And Blaze is trying, they're practicing hard and everything will be fine. And we're just ready to go. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview for us. Um, do you have any shout outs that you want to give out? Um, we would like to say Blaze is going to attend every different competitions in different countries. Um, Rippers is pretty upset, not upset, but I mean, basically he would like a user to get to know of other four members, you know, not only Captain Jack. So please uh, get to know of uh, you know, other team members because we are you know, great as, you know, Captain Jack, and we are very fun-loving people. So, you know, take care of us, not only Captain Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Uh, see you in Energy Arena. Bye. <laughs> Bye.